Dear students, in this video, we will learn how to prepare N by 20 standard solution of potassium dichromate and to estimate the strength and normality of ferrous ions by titrating against N by 20 potassium dichromate solution using N phenyl anthranilic acid as indicator. The theory behind the practical is the Mohr salt, which is a double salt having the formula ferrous sulfate, ammonium sulfate and 6 molecules of water acts as a reducing agent and potassium dichromate acts as a strong oxidizing agent in acidic medium. In the titration, dichromate ions Cr2O7 to negative are reduced to Cr3 ions and ferrous ions get oxidized to ferric ions. During the titration, N-phenyl anthranilic acid is used as an internal indicator. The indicator is not oxidized as long as ferrous ions are present in the solution and the slight excess of dichromate will oxidize the indicator when all the ferrous ions have been converted into ferric ions. This results in color change from greenish which is due to the presence of chromium 3 to purple. The ionic reaction involved in the titration can be obtained by the addition of oxidation half reaction in which ferrous ions get converted into ferric ions with the loss of one electron and the reduction half reaction where dichromate ions are reduced to chromium-3 ions by gaining 6 electrons. And the overall ionic equation can be written as dichromate ions plus 6 ferrous ions plus 14 H positive ions getting converted into 6 moles of Fe3 positive and 2 moles of chromium-3 with the removal of 7 molecules of water. The materials required for the titration are Mohr salt, which is ferrous ammonium sulfate, potassium dichromate, dilute sulfuric acid, burette, pipette, conical flask, funnel, beaker, burette stand, and measuring flask. The schematic diagram for the experimental setup is represented here, where potassium dichromate is taken in burette. Mohr salt and dilute sulfuric acid are taken in the conical flask. Indicator used in the titration is N-phenyl anthranilic acid and the end point of the titration is color change from green to violet red. Now the procedure. First of all, we will be preparing the standard solution of N by 20 potassium dichromate. The solution is prepared by weighing accurately 2.45 grams of potassium dichromate on a weighing balance. The weighed potassium dichromate is dissolved in distilled water and transfer the contents into a measuring flask of 1 litre capacity with the help of a funnel. Make the solution up to the marked point with distilled water. Shake the solution to make sure that potassium dichromate is fully dissolved. The solution is labeled as N by 20 standard solution of potassium dichromate. Second part is the titration of standard solution of potassium dichromate against the supplied ferrous ammonium sulfate solution. Wash and rinse the burette and pipette first with distilled water and then with the corresponding solutions to be filled in them. Rinse and fill the burette with NY20 potassium dichromate solution. Pip it out 10 ml of Mohr salt solution and transfer to a titration flask. Also add 10 ml of dilute sulfuric acid to the conical flask. Add 2 to 3 drops of indicator which is N-phenyl anthranilic acid in the titration flask. Start adding potassium dichromate solution from burette to the titration flask and at the end point the green color of the solution will change to violet red. 
Note the volume of potassium dichromate solution which is used for the titration. Repeat the titration to get three concordant readings and record the readings in the observation table. Now the calculations part. First of all, we will be determining the normality of Mohr salt solution which is calculated by using the normality equation N1V1 is equal to N2V2. N1 is the normality of Mohr salt. N2 is the normality of potassium dichromate solution. V1 and V2 are the volumes of Mohr salt and potassium dichromate solutions used respectively. Using the normality equation N1V1 which is equal to N2V2, we can find out the normality of the Mohr salt solution. After determining the normality of Mohr salt solution, the strength of ferrous ions can be calculated by multiplying the normality and the equivalent mass of ferrous ions. The, since one electron change is involved, so the equivalent mass of ferrous ions is equal to the atomic mass which is 55.85. Strength of ferrous ions in the solution is represented in the units of gram per liter. The precautions which need to be taken during the experiment are while performing the titration, potassium dichromate is always taken in burette. As potassium dichromate solution is colored, so upper meniscus is used for taking burette readings. Equal volumes of dilute sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid is added to the titration flask. No heating is required during ferrous ions. Detect the end point when the solution gives permanent violet color. Don't keep adding the potassium dichromate solution after it. And in order to make the detection of the end point easier, place a white tile below the conical flask. Some questions for Viva are How the standard solution of potassium dichromate is prepared? Since potassium dichromate is a primary standard, so its standard solution can be prepared by directly adding the known weight of potassium dichromate in 1 liter of water. Why N-phenyl anthranilic acid is preferred as internal indicator? As it is economical and easily available, it gives sharp endpoint. Phosphoric acid is also not required with this indicator. Why hydrochloric acid can also be used as acid in potassium dichromate titration. Since potassium dichromate is a weak oxidizing agent, therefore it cannot oxidize hydrochloric acid to chlorine gas and thus will not interfere with the results. Explain the color change that takes place at the end point of the titration from greenish to violet red color. The green color formed during the reaction is due to reduced chromium-3 ions. Since in this redox reaction, there is no prominent color change to indicate the end point of the titration, the addition of indicator is necessary. N-phenylanthranilic acid is used as internal indicator. The oxidized form of the indicator is purple in color. As long as the solution contains ferrous ions, the dichromate solution oxidizes only the ferrous ions to ferric ions. When all the ferrous ions are consumed, dichromate oxidizes the N-phenyl anthranilic acid and the solution becomes purple colored. The color change is sharp and hence it is easy to detect the end point. Thank you very much for watching.